Sean Higgs coming at you once again. A little college football preview action. Pac-12 taking center stage today. And uh, we'll get that preview in a minute. If you're watching, um, listen, you're on Sean Higgs' channel. Old school Sean Higgs' channel for a long time. Winner free picks. I appreciate you watching. Perhaps you're listening on a old podcast form because I'm on your favorite podcast networks. I appreciate everybody listening. Uh, like the, 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 the channel or just whatever, the video, subscribe to the channel, share it. It's college football time. Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs, can we be a follow there? Also on the Winner Free Pick page, not the Sean Higgs page, you can join me a premium member. Uh, what that entails is it's uh, four nine nine, but you'll get premium uh, content, which for me, you're going to be getting premium picks that are on the site that are sold in packages that are $34.99, $49.99, whatever they are. College NFL, you'll get real picks that are sold as picks for pennies. Pennies. And it also helps support the show. Why not? And also, Midday Money, if you haven't known, if, you, if you're new and just find it because you found a Pac-12 preview, well, Midday Money is my show I do seven days a week, 12 noon Eastern. So be sure to tune in. Let's get into the Pac-12. So, last year, USC and UCLA headed on off into the sunset. And one of these guys is the uh, favorite to get it done. Hello, Trojans. Uh, two to one fave here to win the conference. Total is 10 for them on the year. And honestly, I don't have it in here. It'll be on my, whether it's going to be a live show or a recorded loaded up one of futures. It'll be like Futures I Bet show as opposed to here I tell you Eileen under over this at. This will be one I'm most likely going to bet. It's going to be an over here. Uh, this team should be better than last year's 11-3 and three squad. Totally loaded. Cable, Caleb Williams, of course, back in uh, behind center. Second year Lincoln Riley. Should be undefeated for the trip to Notre Dame. Home versus Utah. UCLA watched him. All right, you got Oregon, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big Bo Nix guy. He's nice, but uh, I don't know. I think USC going out with a bang. Playoffs are bust for USC. And for me, I'll take them to win here. Two to one. Sure. Over to 10. Yes, sir. Bob. Um, next up here, we have the Ducks. Three to one to win. Nine and a half is their season total. 16 starters back, 8-8. Eight eight. Pretty good. Bo Nick's pretty good offense, defense to me. A little questionable. And we're going to find out how they are. They got, they, they're got traveling Texas Tech. They got Washington on the road, Utah. They do have USC at home. Big game there. Uh, do I love the coach? Uh, Dan Lanning, I, you know, we'll see. It's Oregon. You get tons of talent up there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, I, it's, again, USC. Uh, it's... Uh, sorry, Bo. <laughs> not not the Bo. You're not Bo Jackson. Washington. Now we talk about a little upset squad here. Let's get into Washington plus three seventy five. I'm going over. I even forgot to write their total in here. It's nine and a half. I like the over. I do. Some big Penix energy. I love this kid. I do. I do. I liked him when he was in the Big Ten. I like him here in the Pac twelve. Shooting to be the Pac ten again. Is he healthy? That's always a thing. I saw somebody mention over 3,600 passing yards for this guy on another podcast. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. He's good. He's real good. Good running backs, bunch of wide receivers, 11-2 last year. Yes, the schedule's tougher. I don't care, man. I Boise, Michigan State, non-conference, I, I, I think they're winning. Now, you got USC and Utah in a Tough back to back. USC on the road. You come home against the Utah it's a physical Utah bunch, and we'll talk about Utah in a second with their quarterback situation. I'm I'm going over, and it's a big number, and it's a plus number. I'm all in on Penix, and I like the team. I like the coach. I like everything about him. Now, does that translate into getting it done? I don't know about that, but you want to know who I like. There you have it. 
Uh, Utah, here we go. So five to one, eight and a half win total. Now, Kyle Winham, great, great coach. Like him on. So Cam Rising, is he banged up still? Right? He got hurt back in January. The line against Florida opened at 10. It's now eight. It's come down. Tells me that he's not that healthy. Because honestly, I like Utah here and to come out and beat up on Florida. I mean, Florida, you're starting quarterback who played seven games or whatever. He's in the NFL. Like, that's a bit of a drop off from a top five pick in the NFL to who's ever quarterback and now. And I think the Florida. Again, this is more into the pick of week one there. But I don't think they didn't do a good job recruiting. I mean, the old coach, new coach. Either way, we'll, we'll get back. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about college football week zero. It's really week one. Soon enough. But uh, Florida opener at Baylor, at USC, at Washington. You got some tough ones there. I'm going to lean under here, especially if Cam isn't rising. The dough isn't rising if this guy's not doing well. So. Uh, big loss. Seven offensive stars, nine defense back, defending champs, all that. I uh, like to coach, but I'll lean to the under. Oregon State, 10 to 1. Eight and a half win total. 10 and 3 last year, covering 11 to 13 games. Not too bad. Clemson quarterback. DJ can't complete a pass. You go, whatever, whoever he is. He was terrible. Ah, does he find a home here? I don't know. I mean, the schedule's. Suits up nice for you. You're home against Utah, UCLA, Washington. No USC. I mentioned Utah. Got some health issues. Washington is uh, good as I think they're going to be. This isn't an easy game for t- These guys were 10-3 and three last year. Not a bad club. Uh, so, now, I want DJ Ukulele. Or I can't say his name. I, I butcher names. I'm sorry. It is what it is. The guy was terrible at Clemson. I don't know if these guys have the same kind of playmakers Clemson had to help them out. Maybe it's better offensive coach here. Uh, we'll remain to be seen. Um, I don't know. It is what it is with them. I like the covering. I'll take a team that goes 10-3. and three. Wonderful. Money in our pockets. That was last year. Let's see how they do this year. Oh, Eucala. Chip Kelly's still here. Chip Kelly. Chip. What are we doing here, fam? 14 to 1 win the Pac 12. One, and you know, I should have mentioned beginning when I mentioned USC and uh who else is leaving? I you know, UCLA's getting out of here. The the old Cali combo. Uh no more split divisions here, just one. We're gonna run it through. So 14 to 1, eight and a half. I'm leaning under here. Uh you get a running back from the Mac. Ball state kid run 1,500 yards. Uh this isn't the Mac. Your quarterback's gone, running back's gone, wide receiver. A lot of replacing on offense. A lot of stars, I should say. You do have seven other starters back, which helps. Nine defensive guys. Definitely help. Um, I don't know, man. It's tough to back Chip Kelly. Guy's not done anything. I lean under with Chip. Sorry, Chip. Not a tip off the old block. Washington State, 30-1. to Total sitting at a six here. Uh, seven offensive starters, five defensive starters back. QB returns. No Utah, no USC, which is nice. But new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. Your defense last year, 22 points a game. That's pretty darn good. Uh, that's not repeating there. No, thank you. I, th- You know, you're bringing new OCs and DCs, running new schemes. I think that takes some time to get used to. Time's not on your side, Washington State. I'll go under the six. Under the six. Cal Bears, 66 to one here. Satanic almost. Because they have a five and a half win total. If this was a six, we'd be in trouble. But they couldn't give them six with this tough schedule. Real tough schedule. Uh, eight offensive starters, nine defensive starters back. They played tough. You know, they were in games last year. It's tough, though. Yeah. yeah they play tough, but they got a tough schedule. Under is juiced to 155. Uh, th- you know, obviously that's. Telling you they don't want to move off a number. They think they could be a six and six kind of bowl team. And it's not kind of like the coach. I, I get. I mean, you got a lot of guys back. Take a step forward. I almost want to go over just to get a little bit of plus money there. Uh, Cal's the team I'm going to be looking at this year. Again, team to bet on? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Here we go. 81 Arizona. I got nothing to say about Arizona. What's there to say? Eight offensive starters. 
three defensive guys, it, it might might get bad there. I don't know. What, what happened to this program? Bring me back to the uh, – I remember Ben on Arizona played Washington when you're happy, like 95, 96. Score was like 9 to 3. Total was like 28. Simeon Rice. Or uh, no, when he was it was Illinois Arizona game. Simeon Rice and uh, Hardy were Hardy were playing. What was that Hardy Nickerson? Anyway. No, Simeon Rice was on Arizona. Ah, so long ago. I'm getting old. Closing in on 50 pretty soon. Either way, pass on Arizona. Arizona State. 100 to 1, four and a half win total. New head coach, offense coordinator, defense coordinator. Overs juiced to 140, under at plus 130. Eight home games, though. So that's what I say they win some home games, right? I mean, you see the over juiced a little bit. You got eight at home. Uh, but again, on the road, USC, Utah, Washington, Cal. I mean, that's four losses right there. All right. So they, not that they'll sweep the board at home, but I, I kind of, I, this is a tough one here. I want to I want to lean under, but I see the eight home games. Then can we win four? But we really need five because I don't see a road win there. Uh, we'll see. Colorado. Here we go. 100 to 1. The old prime time. A little step up in class here, Coach. 1 and 11 last year, uh, Colorado was. A lot of transfers. The win total opened at five and comes crashing down. Not shocked. I already bet against these guys in week one. Probably do it in week two against Nebraska as well. You can't come in here and just ex- – no. You know, you can get by the lower levels. You got a better quarterback or this and that. You could outplay. Not not here. I think it's going to be a long season, Colorado. And I don't think he should be judged on that when you're bringing a bunch of new recruits. He's he's might get a lot of hate because he talks. Let's see how he, could, how he handles the adversity here when his team goes uh, two and nine or whatever it's going to be. Stanford, here we go. Holy cow, two hundred fifty to one, two and a half, two and a half wins for Stanford. I mean, this team, this team was good. Shaw sure, had this team really good for a long time. New head coach, offense coordinator, defense coordinator, three starters back on either side of the ball. Three offense. It's a total rebuild here, no doubt about it. Maybe one win, maybe no wins. I'm sorry, Stanford. The tree. It's got it's chopped down. You're a sapling looking to grow. And um Troy Taylor, head coach, doesn't mind that. He said it's gonna have struggle. So administration's behind this cat. Super. Super. Get it back to where it was, Stanford. Get it back to where you were. All right. Pac twelve is done. Again. Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs. Podcast form, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, tune, look for Midday Money, and you'll find all the football previews there. College is almost done. I'll be loading up NFL when I get back from Bet Bash. So, anyway, thank you for listening.